Welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will discuss about the t-test. Now, before starting the topic t-test, we need to understand how it originated. So, this particular test was given by William Gossett and this person actually where he was working it was not allowed to publish the research publicly so he wrote this particular research in the name that is known as the student here this student is the pen name it means the writing name so here this test is known as the student t-test under this student t-test or popularly known as the student's test there is one particular thing that the sample size is always less than 30 if the sample size is less than 30 then only you can apply this t-test that's the first thumb rule of this now here what is the formula of t-test and how this t statistic you can write so here the formula is that is mean a minus mu divided by your standard deviation and multiplied by the n here n is the your sample size now here s is your standard deviation so the formula of standard deviation that you have to calculate is summation x bar minus x the whole square divided by n minus 1 and the total formula is having the under root now this is how you will calculate so in the next lecture we will discuss about how to calculate but before going on to these particular thing we need to understand certain kind of basics that is properties as well as the characteristics now here we can understand the some kind of a properties so three important properties here we discuss in this video so the first one we write the properties Now under properties, the first one is that the variance of the t-test is lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. It means the range like in correlation that correlation lies between minus 1 to plus 1. So on the same lines, this t-test lies between or the variance of t-test lies between minus infinity to plus infinity. That is the first property. The second property is like the standard normal distribution, the mean here of the t-test is also zero or symmetrical. So here we can say that that is symmetrical or the mean of this t-test is zero on the same lines like a standard normal distribution and the third one is the variance of t distribution is always greater than one so it is always greater than one and if it approaches one it means it is same as the standard normal distribution so whenever the sample size approaches or that if we take large samples or near to 30 samples this particular variance is closer to one here we can say that if it is closer to one then at the sample size 30 the standard normal distribution is equal to your t distribution and beyond that 30 so this is a rule thumb rule if you go beyond 30 it means you are taking large samples and this t distribution does not accept the large distribution so here these are the three important properties of t test now we'll discuss the characteristics of this t test so we discuss two characteristics so first we write under characteristics first one and the second one so first we'll draw the distribution here suppose for example this is your distribution and this is your line for mean here if you make the normal distribution Well, there's a free hand so you can say that this is your normal distribution so under normal distribution the mean here is exactly equal to the top now suppose you are making the t distribution with the sample size n equals to 2 now with the sample size of this <coughs> you will make the distribution So this is your 
the sample size where n is equals to 2. Now the first characteristics of this is at the mean normal distribution normal distribution is greater than your t distribution. So normal distribution is greater than this is sign of greater than than the t distribution. So here it is evident this point this point so normal distribution is greater than t distribution at the mean and the second one at the tails of these two t distribution is having more area so is having higher area in comparison to the normal distribution so here these are the two characteristics of t distribution so hope you like this particular video give a big thumbs up if you like this my effort and if you have any doubt you can write in the comment box you can also contact on my whatsapp number directly to me i'll uh, surely reply in 24 hours to all your queries and after that if you find this useful video then in the next video i will discuss about certain kind of questions so there are certain types of questions of t-test that we'll discuss in the next or upcoming videos so please do subscribe this channel for more videos thank you so much have a nice day